shout out to the women who are free, who have been inside, and to all the women who are inside who still need to be free. I'm Danny Delone, and I'm the executive director of the Innocence Project, and uh, happy to be here to talk about the really the advances that have been made for women who are locked up, who are absolutely innocent of the crimes that they were accused of committing. I think historically, over the last 25 years, we've seen an increasing number of women able to prove their innocence. In the early days of the innocence work, DNA was the major tool that was used, and the Innocence Project has used it to prove many convictions wrong and to free many innocent people. But that tool was often not available to women. As more and more courts and more and more prosecuting attorneys have understood that innocent people are inside, it's given women an opportunity to make their cases and their claims heard. A higher percentage of women are found innocent when in fact the courts and the prosecutors realize there was no crime at all. These are often accidental deaths, sometimes suicides, and most tragically, the accidental death of children. Women are often accused of killing their children and the exonerations have shown us time and time again that some of those are actually have nothing to do with crimes. In the area of forensic science where we see again a disproportionate number of women whose wrongful convictions rest in part on bad forensic science or faulty forensics, um, we have to work hard to make forensic science more reliable, more scientific so that these convictions don't happen in 